G'day guys, we've got a linear algebra question here for you today. We we're asked to find the distance, midpoint and gradient between the two points 19,2 and negative 11,10. Now what I've done is I've just drawn a set of Cartesian coordinates and I've put the two points on. I've labelled 19,2, uh, this one here. So we've got x1 and y1. So we'll put a comma in there. And here obviously will be x2, comma, y2. Great. So what we're asked to do is, first of all, we're asked to find the distance. Now, all of these um, parts of this question, we can call it A, B, and C, they all involve just being able to recall how you use each of the uh, formulas, what the formulas do, and then substituting in these two points. So, first of all, the distance formula. So the distance formula is d is equal to the square root of x2, take x1, so it's the difference between the two x values, squared, plus y2, take y1, also the distance between the two y values. You'll notice this looks a lot like Pythagoras because it is. If we have we're looking for the distance between the two points. What we do is we find out what this distance is and what this distance is. And because they form a right angle, we can work out what the hypotenuse is, i.e. the line that connects the two points there. So let's substitute in our points. We're going to have d is equal to the square root of x2, which is negative 11 minus x1 which is 19 squared plus y2 is 10 minus y1 which is 2 squared now guys it is important if you get one of these in a test that you write down at least the formula and maybe the first line of working before you go to your calculator. Why? Because it shows the teacher what formula you're using and that you aren't just plugging it into a calculator. Also, if you make a silly mistake on the calculator, at least you're going to get a few of the marks. So then you just go about uh, working out what all the numbers are. So we have negative 11 take 19 is negative 30 squared is 900 plus 10 take 2 is 8, squared is 64. And we square root all of that. And we find that the square root of 964 is approximately, it's not exactly equal to anything, but it's approximately equal to 31.05 units. Cool. So that's the first part of our question, the distance. Now the midpoint, again, we just have to recall that formula. So the midpoint formula, I'm going to call this uppercase M, is just the average of the two points, either the two X points or the two Y points. And I'll show you what I mean. So the average of the two X points will be X1 plus X2 divided by 2. Put a comma because it's a coordinate. The average of the Y points, Y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and that's all she wrote. So what we can do is we can sub in our numbers. We have x1 and x2 which is 19 and negative 11. So m is going to equal 19 plus negative 11 or just minus 11 divided by 2 comma y1 which is 2 plus 10 divided by 2. And we have 19 take 11 is going to be 8, divided by 2 is equal to 4. And we have 2 plus 10 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. So our midpoint is equal to 4, 6. So this is the answer to the first one. That is the answer to the second one. Okay, let's separate the last bit out. Now, the gradient, maybe, oh, you know, they're all about as complicated as each other, guys. So the gradient, or m, lowercase m of a function, is equal to, you might have heard this, the rise 
divided by the run. Now guys, in when you're doing this with your uh, Cartesian coordinates, the rise of the function is just the difference between the two y coordinates. So like we did in the uh, distance formula, we go y2 minus y1, which is the difference between the two y coordinates. And the run is the difference between the two x coordinates. x2 subtract x1. So this is our gradient formula. A lot of people for some reason have trouble remembering this, but if you can remember rise over run, and you know that the way that you work out rise and run is the difference between the two coordinate points, um, you can relate the distance and the gradient functions in that way, and it helps you remember it. Well, it helps me remember it anyway. So this is going to be equal to y2, which is 10, subtract y1, which is 2, on x2, which is negative 11, take x1, which is 19. Now this is going to be equal to 8 on 30, or negative 30, which is equal to negative 2 goes into both, 4 on 15. So, that's all she wrote, guys. Um, basically what we've done here is we've just, to find the distance, midpoint, and gradient, A, B, and C, what we've done is we've just uh, recalled what each of the formulas are. Now, I haven't squared this one, but I did in the actual working out of the problem. But we found out what each of the formulas were, or recalled from memory what each of the formulas were. Sometimes in tests, their teacher will give you these formulas at the top of the test, but if they aren't going to give them to you, you kind of have to remember them. So the hard part about these questions is recalling the formulas, and then once you've recalled them, making sure that you sub the numbers in and do the addition, subtraction, and multiplication correctly. So all I would do to practice these ones, guys, is just go over some that have like negative and positive x values, negative and positive y values, or a bit of both. So try and keep all of them, uh, you know, changing up. Don't just have ones from uh, this quadrant or this quadrant or this quadrant or this quadrant. Try and mix the match because then it'll help you sort of when you get a weird one in a test, you'll be able to solve it a lot easier. So guys, I hope this quick video helped. You know, I try and put out videos like this all like every day, but I never ever get around to it. But if it did help, throw it a like. Um, subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have any questions regarding maths or physics or chemistry or any school related topic, I'm always looking for new ideas for videos. So throw a comment in the comment section below and uh, yeah, I'll try and make a video about it. And until next time guys, definitely enjoy your maths.